the idea that the value is constant and doesn't change over time is a bit iffy. So this leads us to basically the normative optimal model that we got from economics. And I'll just describe it. This um, optimal model basically says that the value I have um, of something changes over time. So I'll just draw this and then explain it. Right, so what this is saying is that, remember, let's say we're here at uh, right now, and in a certain amount of time, I'm going to give you a reward. Let's just say it's um, £100. When I get that reward, when I actually, when someone gives me the money, it has £100 worth of value. But at the moment, it's just a promise. I don't have the money yet, so it's going to have less value. I can't do anything with it. Likewise, um, with this, this might be £150. When they, when they give me the money, I'm going to have £150 worth of value. But at the moment, it's just some future promise. And I can't, again, I can't do anything with that money. So the idea is that the value you have changes over time. And importantly, the shape of these curves, these are called exponential curves. And this model is essentially called exponential discounting. So the value of these rewards are basically discounted, they're lower. Um, okay, so this is basically the normative model and it comes from economics and we're not really going to care why it's normative, we're just going to assume that it is. But what we do need to know is some kind of properties of this. And the most important one is called um, time consistency. And what that means is, you'll notice that um, these curves basically don't overlap or anything. So what that means is, right now, I have a higher value for the larger but more delayed reward. And as time goes by, here maybe on this day, I could potentially take the smaller reward, which is immediate, but no I won't, because the value of waiting is still higher. So as time goes by, your preference stays the same. You will always take the, uh, the bigger but delayed reward, and that's important. The reason why it's important is because it's not what people do. So it's a, yet another example of how people don't conform to normative models. So what actually happens is you get um, what people do is they reverse their preferences over time. Now this is where we get um, the descriptive model.